Hello everyone, so in this video, I'm going to be looking at Fit Girl Repacks. This site is used to pirate games, uh, basically get the games for free off of uh, Steam primarily, but also off of some other uh, platforms too. And uh, we're going to be basically dissecting some of the games on the site, um, specifically a single one, um, because from my perspective, I actually think that the majority of these games would contain the same malware if there was malware in any of these files since you know they're all repacked by whoever owns the site so yeah we're going to be looking at hitman uh which is a game that is probably one of the biggest ones on the site uh but yeah let's just get straight into it so we're going to be using a few uh websites to figure out whether this is malware so the first one is hybrid analysis which is one of the best websites to do this and uh, yeah, we're going to get the exe. We might also look at the batch file. Maybe we'll look at some of the bin files, but let's just look at the exe first. Okay, so this is very interesting. So this is very common with malware. So basically, you can see at the top here, it actually does say that it's malicious and there's a threat score of 80 of 100. But you guys can also see here that there are two um, antiviruses that say that this is clean. Now, what the these files and what these... Um, these pirating softwares usually do is they will use anti-detection tools like they will code their files in order to basically trick the antiviruses into thinking that it's clean and this happens a lot um this is very common i've seen this a lot but you can see that as soon as you put it into a sandbox and you actually analyze what's going on you can see that it says that it's malicious um on the uh falcon sandbox and you can see that it's suspicious here so let's first look at the um at this one because this is 80 out of 100 so it's almost like it's almost completely malware so actually let's just look down here first so risk assessment so spyware it found a string that may be used as a part of an injection method and it sets a global windows hook to intercept mouse events that is very suspicious right there so already uh this is not looking very good for fit girl repacks uh, you can also see installs hook slash patches the running process input file contains api references not part of its import address table this the input sample contains a known anti-vm trick that's what i was saying so i believe that it is um not only detecting that it's in a virtual machine but also detecting that it um is being analyzed so yeah we'll just look at this first Okay, so you can see that there are a lot of malicious indicators and there's also suspicious indicators. So it sets a global Windows hook to intercept mouse events. You can see the details. Let's, let me just have a look at both of these. So, yeah, that is very suspicious because it's also a binary file. Binary files have a lot more access to the system. API call. Yep, API call. So this means that they don't actually have to have the malware in the file. What they can do is they can just call it straight from their server so they don't actually have to do anything. Like, they don't have to risk anything. Uh, and then there's suspicious indicators. I mean, you know, the suspicious indicators is not as bad, but you can see anti-reverse engineering, for example. Probably some obfuscation, I would say. Uh, spyware calls an API possibly used to take screenshots calls an api typically used for key logging yeah so you can see it's I, I have a feeling that this is definitely malware um this uh this file i think is definitely malware but let's look at this one too uh we're looking at two uh, reports this just said suspicious okay so again it uh evasive the input contains a known anti-vm trick yep you got spyware yep yep this is definitely malware. This is 100%. I would say it is. Not 100%. I'm not going to say it definitely is. Um, like, you know, obviously this is just my opinion. But, you know, coming from uh, Hybrid Analysis, one of the most reliable websites, I mean, you know, this is probably malware. All right, so let's look at Virus Total now. So I'm going to drag this file into Virus Total. So that's very interesting. So you guys can see that it does say that it's clean, right? But this is another trick that antiv that our malware uses, just like it used it here. So what it does is it actually uses certain tactics where what it does is it actually tries to evade the fact that it is running uh, on a virtual machine and evading the fact that it is being analyzed. And that's what's going on here. 
uh, because usually when it comes to files, right, most of the time they'll have at least one or two um, malware detections that are actually false positives, but it doesn't look like it here. Uh, if we go to relations, okay, so you actually can see it here. All right, so there we go. Fake update utilizes a new IDAT loader to execute STLC and Llama info stealers. There it is. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is um not looking too good for uh, FitGirl Repacks, that's for sure. Execution. Okay, that's not too suspicious. Let's keep going. Hijack execution flow. DLL side loading. Defense evasion. Again, another anti virtual machine. We got relations. Yeah, relations. We've already seen that there's malware in the relations. Ooh, and also the signature didn't verify, so that means that uh, I might be using a false signature in order to make it seem like. Uh, it is the legitimate um, company. So yeah, detect debug environments. Yeah, very suspicious. Um, so yeah, all right. So let's just check the batch file as well. We'll see if uh, hybrid even can analyze batch files. It might not be able to, but we'll see. Okay, so yeah, you can see that. Well, it's still in progress here, but I don't think hybrid can actually analyze batch files. I wonder if uh, can virus total analyze batch files. Okay, so it can. But again, yeah, again, you see how it's um, it's pretending, it's it's actually um, making it seem like it's not malware, but it actually is. That's why there's absolutely no detections. Like usually on files, you'll have at least one or two false positives because um, some antiviruses, especially unreliable ones, like for example, um, Icarus, very unreliable. All right, so we got another one here, Parcel Simulator. Uh, we're gonna be dragging in the EXE. All right, so you guys can see that once again, it is suspicious. It's not as bad as the Hitman one, but there is some suspicious indicators. Let's take a look. And again, it's detecting, it's actually bypassing the antivirus to make it look like it's clean when it's not, because you can see in the sandbox reports, you can find the real indicators. Yeah, once again, we got the anti-detection, uh, which I did think would happen. And you see that it queries the system processor you can also see that there's anti-reverse engineering. But actually, this file doesn't seem like it contains any specific malware. So that is a good sign. So maybe it's possible. Well, yeah, you got this too. But I think that this looks a lot less suspicious, the parcel, the parcel simulator one. So it's possible that this isn't malware. But because the other one was definitely malware, I would not trust um, this site at all. I would not trust uh, this site because... Yeah, you can see that the other one contained like so much malware. Like that was spyware, like all of it. So yeah, I think that's really all I have to show. Um, yeah, just avoid this site, avoid Fit Girl Repacks at all costs. I, I don't think it's, um, you know, I think it's very suspicious. Uh, so yeah, this is the end of the video. Uh, see you in the next one.